So now let's talk about nested if. Now, what exactly nested if means? Nested means one inside the other. So if you have if here and then you are printing here, let's add some conditions or something. So let's say based on some other value, whatever variable you want to use here, let's say I'm going to say salary. Again, it's, it's bad to compare the salaries, but let's do it. It's fun. So let's say we got a salary as five and we don't know what this currency is. It can be rupees, dollars or bitcoins. Uh, if the salary is 5, I want to print great job. If the salary is less than 5, I mean greater than 5, great job. Less than 5, better like next time. Something like that. But only if, if it's an even number. Okay, so of course I can do that outside if I just want to print great job or better like next time. But I want to do that only when the number is even. So that means I have to do that inside this if. So we can do this. We can write if inside if something like this. And I can say if salary is more than five, I can simply print here. Great job. Else I can print better luck, better luck next time. Okay. Now what we are trying to do here is we are saying if inside or if else inside the if block. This is called nested if. Nothing fancy, simple stuff. Just wanted to show you how it works and let's run this and you can see it says better luck next time because the value is not more than 5. But if I say 7 and if I try this now, it says even and great job. But now if I make this as an odd number, it doesn't matter what the salary is now, it's not going to execute them. It will only print odd because the entire block is skipped as soon as it says it's this condition is false. So that's how we can use nested if.